So as we turn in our Bibles, and if you have your Bibles, turn with me to the book of Revelation, chapter 13. And I want to read verse 1. If you don't have your Bible, you can read it with me from the PowerPoint screen. It as I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the names of blasphemy. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I come to you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for this day. Thank you, Lord God, for what it represents, God. God, today we have honored our graduates, but right now, Father, God, we want to look into your word. God, we want to honor the King of Kings, uh, as always, and the Lord of Lords. Uh, I ask you to anoint me, Father, Lord God, to preach and to teach, Lord God, this message. Uh, God, to let our hearts be open, God. Uh, God, give us the understanding. You even said if, if we lack knowledge, if we lack wisdom, Lord, let us ask of you. So, God, we know, Father, I don't know everything, but I'm needing your wisdom. I'm needing your knowledge, God, and for the touch of God and for your anointing. Anoint the ears to hear and the hearts to receive. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You may be seated. When I was growing up, I used to come home as far as from school. Uh, I reckon really probably before my teenage years. And they had a program back then. And I, I know that, you know, they, they've come out with, with a lot of movies uh, over the years about, you know, Batman uh, they even had, you know, his, his sidekick, uh, Robin. But back then, and I don't know, they, prob they probably might still do it. They used to call them the dynamic duo. The dynamic duo. And I tell you what, young people, I, I, I didn't watch, like I said, what about you see? I mean, I like the more modern. I used the ones that, that had the caption on the screen. When they would hit, it would come up there, pow. So that, that was the kind of the one that I watched. But they called Batman and Robin as far as the dynamic duo. But what we're going to be studying here this morning real briefly is about what I would call the demonic duo. The Antichrist and the false prophet. So here John, he's still having a vision. You said, why teach about this, Brother David, as far as to the church? The church won't be here. But yet, I believe it's for us so, so we can actually help even open up the eyes of, of, of our loved ones, of our friends, and let them know about the things that the Bible said would come to pass. Amen. And you know, you, you, you can go almost anywhere probably in the world and, and there will be stories and that they, they have been, been taught as far as about this man that, that we know as the Antichrist. Uh, amen. And they probably know, and this is the first time that, that really... Uh, that, that this man called the false prophet is actually coming on the scene in the scriptures. You know, Jesus warned us, said there will be many false Christs, amen, and many false, apost or false prophets, uh, amen. There's going to be a lot of them, but yet there's going to be two, two main ones. And, and, and we know them as the Antichrist, which means actually like against Christ or even like him. He thinks he's going to try to take the place of Christ and the world will follow him. But here John is seeing, said, I stood upon the sand of the sea. Get this, and I saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads, ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the names of blasphemy. So you said, what is this? The beast here, and even when we look at Daniel chapter 4, we see Daniel also having a dream. And he's seeing something stirred up, what he says on the sea. And a lot of time when you see, see the word sea, it means nations and people. So, so Daniel saw these four beasts rise up out of the sea, and these four beasts represented kingdoms. But here in this scripture, I believe it also represents a kingdom, but it also represents a king, a leader. So it's got, I believe, a dual meaning here. So it said it's having seven heads. What are these seven heads? We're going to get on into it a little bit later in Revelation 7. It explains that these are actually seven past kingdoms. And I know it don't bring out the names as far as in the Bible, but, but yet it talks about these are actually uh, seven kings. Five are fallen. Amen. Uh, one, one, uh, one, one is, and, amen. and then one is to come. These are actually seven past kingdoms that persecuted the Jewish people. And they are Egypt, Assyria, Babylon, Media, Persia, Greece, Rome. And a lot of people think the revived Roman Empire. But what was the next empire that rose up 
Amen. After Rome, it was actually the Islamic Caliphate. It was actually the last one of those caliphates, and it's a caliphate that, that is run in the government by religion. Amen. Otherwise, this is just Islam. This, this is Muslim. But I believe that it was the Islamic Caliphate and even the Ottoman Empire. And it actually ruled actually over 600 years. And it covered a vast span, and I mean even into the Middle East. When you look at Jerusalem today, when you look at old Jerusalem and you see the wall, it, it, it was built by, by a man about that, that was a leader of that caliphate called Suleiman the Magnificent. So it, it was the Islam that, that built up that wall and even sealed the eastern gates. So, amen. So I believe that next kingdom was actually the Ottoman Empire. But then it said he saw ten uh, horns, which I believe represents authority. It said, and upon his horns, ten crowns. And it's almost like even Daniel saw the fourth beast. It said he had ten horns. Amen. And, only, and so I believe this represents as far as the, what does these ten horns represent? It represents the ten confederation nation that will actually unite as far as with the end. I believe that they will already be as far as uh, together, this confederation. And the Antichrist will come out of this ten nation confederation. Because that's what Daniel's, amen, actually saw, the ten horn. And out of that ten horns came a little horn, which is the Antichrist. Uh, so we see that. So, so Daniel here is having this vision about, uh, I think, around 603 B.C. And here John is in 95 A.D., so it's almost uh, close to 700 years between these two men's vision. But he goes on and gives us the description of this beast. He said, The beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet was as the feet of a bear, and his mouth was as the mouth of the lion, and the dragon gave him power and his seat and great authority. And this is almost similar to what Daniel saw, but it's in reverse. Daniel saw a lion, he saw a bear, and he saw a leopard. So John is seeing it in reverse. He's seeing a leopard. Said it looks like a leopard, otherwise the body does. Said his feet, just the, the portion of it was like a bear. Said and then he had the mouth of a lion. So what is this? I believe it is showing the, the, the land mass. It's showing the Grecian Empire. It's showing the Babylonian Empire. It's showing the Media Persian Empire which actually was from about where Greece is at today all the way over to the border of India. So, so it's talking about the, the main body. Amen. looks like the Grecian Empire, but it's not the Grecian Empire. I believe that that is talking about what he's seeing here rise up. is actually a revived Islamic caliphate. And it even could be, amen, a revived Ottoman Empire. Because they got a man over there right now. Uh, Erdogan, which is president in Turkey. And then that's where it was actually based out of was Turkey. He wants to revive the Ottoman Empire. And I mean, he's a full-fledged Muslim. And he's of the Islamic faith, amen, from his head down to his toes. So it said this. So, so he's seeing this beast, uh, amen, which I believe is a kingdom, but out of this kingdom will come the Antichrist. And then it said, and the dragon. We know who the dragon was. The dragon was none other than Satan. We studied that in chapter 12. So it said the dragon, get this now real close. The dragon gave him power and his seat, that seat means throne, and great authority. You said, where, where is his seat at? We studied it uh, in, in, in actually uh, Revelation chapter 2, verses 12 and 13. God said, I know where Satan's seat is. It was at Pergamos. Guess where Pergamos is at? It's in Turkey. So there's something, I don't know what all it is, but there's something about Turkey. Amen. And they got actually one of the largest militaries and one of the strongest militaries in the Middle East. I'm not talking about Russia, China, United States, but in the Middle East, Turkey has got one of the largest and strongest militaries in the Middle East. Amen. So he's seeing this thing. Amen. But I wonder even if Daniel saw this same thing because the fourth kingdom that Daniel saw, Daniel couldn't even describe it. He knew what a lion looked like. He knew what a leopard looked like. He knew what a bear looked like. 
But he said that fourth beast was great. He didn't have no words to describe the fourth beast. I believe he was seeing this what John was seeing. That, amen. Daniel didn't know what kind of animal that this was that was symbolic. But I believe he was seeing the same thing. Because he said he'd got ten horns. He got ten horns because I believe Daniel is seeing the same thing and John seeing the same thing that Daniel saw, but yet in reverse. But, but look at this. And you know, this has been, I believe, sort of misinterpreted over the years. And even I have done it. You know, sometimes folks, and, and I, I know, and Pam may, may kind of, kind of see, I know she agrees with me, sometimes I need to slow down. My, my mind just goes 90 miles an hour. Now, when I get anointed, it may pick up about 120 miles an hour, the way my mind runs. But yet, when I see and read this next verse, look at verse 3, three here. It said, And I saw one of his heads, as it were, wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wandered after the beat. How many have seen movies, and I know Left Behind, uh, uh, even Omega Code, you know, they come out through TBN, and all this, you know. Amen. They, they showed the Antichrist getting shot in the head. I kind of wonder about that now. Called, does the end call, call, look the way the scripture, like I said, sometimes we go too fast, and I know I do. And, and it's not saying people is wrong, sometimes we just miss it. But yet I begin to see something here. Said, and I saw one of his heads. Do you think that there's a man going to have seven heads? What is this? This, this is a kingdom. Amen. This is, this is a revived kingdom. And like I said, the Ottoman Empire ended in, in, in 1923. So, so it kind of went out. I mean, it got wounded. But then that wound's going to be healed. And I believe that it will rise up. Because I'm here to tell you what, folks. If, 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 I mean, if those Muslim countries, and they will. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. I know I'm getting ahead of myself. See, my mind's going 120 miles an hour right now. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. But, amen, I, I believe that the Antichrist will be a Middle Eastern man. He won't be Jewish. He won't be European. But he will be a Middle Eastern man. Amen. Why? Amen. Who hates the Jews more than anybody in the world? The Islamic people, the radical. Not, and then when, when I teach about this, when I preach about this, I, I'm not against all the Muslim people. I, amen. I'm against that system. I'm against that religion. You know, I, amen. They still need to be reached. And I'm here to tell you, they still can be saved. In fact, there are Muslims being saved. Amen. Almost every day, Jesus is even appearing to them. Folks, they got a soul just like me and you. But that system, that corrupt political system I, that is actually run by Sharia law. Uh, amen. You know, you've heard about that since 9-11, the Sharia law. Uh, I, I mean, they, they stone women. They, they cut people's heads off. Amen. I mean, for, for almost the least little old thing, I mean, it, it's just bad. It goes against the Word of God. Uh, amen. So, but let, let's look at this real quick. Uh, he said, I saw one of the heads, and I believe this is one of the kingdom. Amen. And I believe it will be that Islamic caliphate, maybe even the revived Ottoman Empire that will actually come back. Amen. So it's been almost a hundred years, even President Erdogan of, of, of Turkey has even been talking about that. He, he wants to be as far as the, the leader of it. Uh, amen. And I'm here to tell you, if, if those Muslims, Brother Roger, if those Islamic nations, and there's several of them, Israel is right in the middle of it. Israel's only about the size of New Jersey. Jordan, amen, Egypt, uh, Syria, Amen. Turkey, Iraq, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Amen. Egypt, Gaza, Amen. Lebanon. These are all Muslim countries, folks. And it goes on, Amen. Amen. All the way even northern Africa. If these countries unite, Amen. It will be a strong military. It will be a strong confederation. And I believe that that is going to be as far as the Antichrist Empire. Amen. You need to look. And I know we won't be here, but, but warn the people. Get in. Study God's Word. I mean, it's there. Then he goes on in verse 4. said, And they worship the dragon. They worship the devil. I could get in some things right now, but I, I know I, uh, and I may, it may get deep. But I tell you that there's some things as far there's some things in a lot of religions, amen. I, I don't agree with. There's even things, in, amen, in, in church that I don't agree with, amen. Come on now, but folks, if it lines up with the book, amen. To God, it's real, amen. To God, I know the Muslims believe in Allah. I don't believe in Allah, amen. I, I don't believe as far, as, amen. 
amen, and their, and their prophet, so to speak, Muhammad. Amen. I believe in God, Jehovah. I believe in God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Amen. And even to show you why I believe that even the Antichrist will be a Middle Eastern, the Bible says, Whosoever confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is the Antichrist. Amen. If you deny the Father, if you deny the Son, amen, it is the spirit of the Antichrist. Amen. Islam does not believe that God had a son. They believe in Jesus Christ and they believe he was even born, amen, of the Virgin Mary, but they don't believe he died for the sin. They believe that, that he was called up and we're going to get into that just a little bit. You ought to even read up and study up on and not, not to get into it and not to be a part, amen, of Islam, but get just to be aware of what's going on in the world in these religions. Amen. Because I'm here to tell you, they'll take over the world one day and they want to. Come on now. They want to. Oh, but I tell you what, we got to stand firm. Amen. In, in the word of Almighty God. Hallelujah. Amen. So he said, they worship the dragon which gave power to the beast. So Satan is going to give the Antichrist this kingdom, his power. Did you know over the centuries the devil has tried to give men as far as power to rule the world? Look at Adolf Hitler. If you don't think, amen, to God, that, that, that one man, amen, can try to rule the world, look at Adolf Hitler. Amen, look, look at a lot of them, look at Mussolini, but mainly Adolf Hitler. Amen, he had a mouth, he was a spokesman. It's like he almost rose up overnight. Amen. But yet he, he, he was a type. He was not the Antichrist. Did you know that even the devil tried to give Jesus Christ the Son of the living God? He took him up into a high mountain, the Bible said, and showed him all the kingdoms of the world. And you know what the devil said? All of this will I give to you if you will just bow down to me. <laughs> oh, but Jesus said, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and only Him shalt thou serve. Amen. That devil had to leave him. But there's going to be a man to come on the scene in this world. He could be in the world today. I mean, I don't know. We don't know his identity right now. Amen to God. But he, I mean, he's going to come on the scene one day, and the devil's going to give him power, and he's going to rise up, and the world's going to follow after him. Come on now. So it said, and they, they worship the dragon which gave power to the beast, and they worship the beast, saying, Who is likened to the beast, and who is able to make war with him? He's going to have a strong military presence in the world. Amen to God. Russia probably won't be able to stand up against them. China won't be able to. Amen. Probably, I mean, they, they will have a time, amen to God, standing up against this beast kingdom. Revelation 13 and 5 said, And there were given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemy. And power was given unto him to continue 42 months. He's already been in power for a while, but yet it's going to continue to live in the last three and a half years. This is 42 months, it's three and a half years. So he's going to have a mouth speaking great thing. Daniel 7 and 8 said a mouth speaking great thing. And also, Daniel 7 25, he shall speak great words against the Most High. Like I said, Islam speaks against Christianity. It speaks against the Jews. Amen. They want to kill Christians. They want to kill Jews. Amen to God. They keep saying, great is Allah, great is Allah. But I'm here to tell you, great is the Lord. Amen. And greatly to be praised. Amen. I'm not praising Allah. Amen. I'm not praising Buddha. I'm not praising, amen, Harry Krishna. I'm not praying Jim Jones is in the grave, but I didn't follow him. Amen. I'm praising the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. And he's the only one that I want to serve. Glory to God. Amen. Keeps talking about this mouth in verse 6. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God. To blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and they that dwell in heaven. Verse 7. And it was given unto him, get this, to make war with the saints. This don't mean the church, honey. The church is not going to be here. The saints that is mentioned here could be the tribulation saint people getting saved. I told you people would be saved there in the tribulation. But the, mainly the saints here is the Jewish people. And like I said, what other religion, amen, hates the Jews more than Islam? Said to make war with the saints, get this, and to overcome them, and power was given him over all kindreds, tongues, and nations. I heard somebody say one time, Amen, the Antichrist won't rule the whole world. He's gonna try. He's gonna try. Daniel 8 24 confirms it, said he shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. He's gonna try to kill all the Jews. Amen. Like I said, that, that's just a part of, of, of their belief. Revelation 13 and 8 said, And all them that dwell on the earth shall worship him. 
whose name, get this, not everybody's going to worship him, but those whose names are not written in the book of the Lamb slain from the found, everybody else will. But those, amen, to God, like I said, that, that had to end up getting saved during the tribulation, uh, amen, they wasn't ready to go in the rapture, uh, they won't bow to him. Uh, amen, even a lot of the Jews, amen, really won't bow to them, him, amen, because they realize they're in the middle of the tribulation, uh, he's going to try to set himself up, uh, amen, to God, ask God. Revelation 13, 9 through 10 said, If any man have an ear, let him hear, and he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with a sword must be killed with a sword. That's what Jesus said. He that lives, he, he, that, he that lives by the sword is going to die by the sword. But he said, Here is the patience of the saint. Some people want to know, do you have Bible proof to where the anti... I, I don't know who he is. His identity hadn't been revealed, but as soon as his identity is revealed, the Bible said the coming of the Lord and our gathering together unto him would not take place until there first come a falling away and the man of sin be revealed. So I don't know who he is. Amen. I believe I know about where he's coming from. Daniel 8 and 8 said, Therefore the he goat waxed very great and he was strong. He had a great horn that was broken. That's, that was Alexander the Great. And for it came up four notable horns, one towards the four winds. And said, and out of them, out of these four winds, amen, out of Alexander's kingdom that got broken up, there was Cassander, Lysimachus, Seleucid, and Ptolemy. These were his four generals that it got divided up into, Greece area, Turkey, Syria, and Egypt. But it said, out of one of them. So out of what area? I believe somewhere around Syria and Turkey, amen, Lebanon, amen, over in, in Baghdad, I say Baghdad, I'm talking about Iraq, I believe that that is the area, amen, that I believe the Antichrist will rise out of. I kind of got my... I kind of got my mind as far as on Turkey. I, I really don't know, but somewhere in that Middle Eastern area. Because they said for out of one of them, out of either Greece, Turkey, I don't believe it's actually Greece as we know today, I believe it's a place called Yavon. So, how do, how do you know that you believe that, that, that the Antichrist is, is a Middle Eastern? Fix it, almost come to a close here. Daniel 9.26 said, After three score two weeks shall the Messiah be cut off. But not for himself. That was talking about Jesus. Said, And the people of the prince... The people of the prince shall come and destroy the city and the sanctuary. That was, that was Titus and the Roman army. But, but the Roman army that, that he actually got together was actually Middle Eastern men. They, they weren't actually Romans, but they were a part, amen, of the, of the kind of the, uh, uh, I reckon, the reserve that was left. When, when Rome pulled out and they came back in, they came back in to kind of, kind of suppress the rebellion of the Jews. And they came in and leveled Jerusalem and burnt the sanctuary, destroyed. And there hadn't been one since then. This happened in AD 7. But it said, and the people of the prince that is to come. The prince that is to come is the Antichrist. But who is the people? Flavius Josephus, the Josephus, the Jewish historian, wrote this, So Vespian sent his son Titus, who came by the land to Syria. And he gathered together the Roman forces and considerable number of auxiliaries from the kings in the neighborhood. And that's the way Josephus wrote it. Those legions were the 5th, the 10th, the 15th, the 18th, the 3rd, and the 12th. They were from, the first one was from Judea. The next two was from Syria. Then there was one Egypt. Then there was another Syria, Asia Minor, which is Turkey and Syria. So the majority of this, these, these areas was actually from Syria. So that's, that's where it said the people of the prince that is to come. So the prince that is to come, his, his, his people is actually Middle Eastern. So the false prophet, just bear with me. The false prophet is actually in, in, in chapter 13 and verse 11. This is where it said, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, having two horns like a lamb, and he spake like a dragon. The lamb actually represents that he's going to be religious. He's going to try to be sort of like a lamb. And, you know, and, and, and they'll say you know, that the Muslim religion is peaceful. I don't see much peaceful about that religion. Amen. They want to kill. They want to destroy. Amen. Like that group called Hamas. Amen. They got killed over 1,200 Jewish people back on August, October the 7th. I don't see much peace about that. But he's going to come in. He's going to be this religious leader. And I believe this other beast is actually going to be as far as the false prophet. Did you know that the Muslim religion in, in their Quran, in the part of their belief... 
They believe that there's going to be, that Jesus is going to come back, but not our Jesus. They, they believe in Jesus, but they believe that, that their God going to send that this man called Jesus, but they call him Isa, I-S-A. And he said, they said he's going to help, amen, their Mahdi. Their Mahdi is our Antichrist, M-A-H-D-I. Look it up, amen, if, if you don't really believe what I say, look it up about the Mahdi and, and Isa. But, it, but it's a false Jesus. He's supposed to come back and tell, amen, the, the world that they're wrong, that, that the Muslim religion is the only religion, that they need to follow Adam, that they need to follow this man, man of sin, so to speak. And Jesus warned us, he said, beware of false prophets who come to you, what, in sheep's clothing. He comes like a lamb, but within is this like a wolf. Revelation 16, 13, it, said, it talks about, you said, well, well, how is this the false prophet? Revelation 16 and 13 said, I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the dragon, that's the devil, out of the mouth of the beast, that's the antichrist, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. So the false prophet for the first time is coming, amen, to uh, uh, kind of on the scene in the scripture. Revelation 19 and 20 said, the beast who is the antichrist and the false prophet was cast into the lake of fire. But this false prophet is going to be a cohort and I call them the demonic duo. They're going to be working together. Amen to God. And, and causing as far as the world to try to flock after them. Said, but they did, did this, this false prophet, he exercised all the power of the first beast before him. Causeth the earth and them that dwell on them to worship the first beast. And whose deadly wound is him. You mean they're going to worship a man? Amen. They're going to kind of pay homage to him. Amen. Paul said he's going to go into the temple in 2, Timothy, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 around verse 4. He's going to go into the temple and set himself up. There will be a third temple. But he's going to set himself up in the temple and declare himself to be God. Just bear with me. I'm, I'm bringing this, this to a close. Verse 13 said, And he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire to come down from heaven on the earth and deceiveth all them on the earth, this is verse 14, by means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make, get this, an image to the beast which had a wound by the sword and did live. Said, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. This is where Jesus said, when you hear of the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. He said, then flee to the mountain. I said, that's when, going, that's when the Antichrist is going to go into the temple, stop the daily sacrifice. I know that temple's not there, but it will be rebuilt. John saw it there in the tribulation, so it will be rebuilt. God will work it out for those Jews. That's why this war is starting over there right now. That, that's why this conflict is going on. It's over the Temple Mount. It's over religion. Let's say, amen. amen. Salvation will get you saved, but can I tell you, religion will get you killed. It will. Religion will get you killed. Religion don't mind killing you. Amen. Hallelujah. I know it's but, but this image, he's going to cause an image to be built. And when you look up abomination of desolation, abomination means idol. So he's going to set something up in the Holy of Holies, in that temple, on that temple mount. The false prophet, amen, sort of in honor. He's trying to honor this beast, this antichrist. Said, but he will be given power even to cause this, this image to speak. How many's heard of AI, artificial intelligence? How many's got a, 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 an Alexa in your home? Alexa that you could talk to a little thing. How many got Siri on your phone? You know, you, you could talk to these things. They will answer you. You can ask them a question. They'll answer you. I believe this is artificial intelligence. Well, whatever this image will be, whatever this, he said he'll cause it both to speak. And the world will follow after him. And this image and this thing would even cause, the Bible even said this, would even cause both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or on their foreheads. Verse 17, that they might, that no, no one might buy or sell, say he had the mark or, his, or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Revelation 13 and 8, And here is wisdom, let him that understand count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man, 
And the number is 600, three score and six. This is where they get 666. Six, six. That's the number of the Antichrist. I know people that tried to even put down, I think years ago, Ronald Reagan's name. Because he had six letters. I think he had three names. Ronald, whatever the middle name. And they tried to say it was 666. Six, six. No, it ain't Ronald Reagan. And can I tell you, it's not Obama. It, it, it's not Henry Kissinger. I don't even believe it's the Pope. I said, I, I, I don't know who it is. I just believe it's going to be a Middle Eastern uh, a man that will rise up in power. He, he'll be a smooth talker. He'll be a, he'll be a politician. He's going to have a strong military. Amen. He's going to take over the financial system that anybody that does not have the mark cannot buy or sell. You won't even be able to go to a doctor. You won't be able to do nothing except that you have that mark in your hand or in your forehead. He said, what's going to happen to those that don't take the mark? Revelation 20 and 4 said, And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus Christ, for the word of God, who did not worship the beast, neither his image, didn't receive the mark on the forehead or, or in their hands, and said, And they lived and reigned with Christ. People will have be beheaded. Their heads will be chopped off. Can I tell you this? What other religion in the world cuts people's heads off? Anybody want to shout it out? Islam. Islam. I don't know of any other religion. I mean, there may be, but mostly Islam. And they feel like they got a right to do it. I mean, it's in their Quran where they even cut hands off. And all. I mean, it's, it's listed in there that, that they have a right to do that. And that if they do that, they, 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 they get a free ticket to their so called heaven. I don't know about that. All I know, if you don't accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, I don't care who you are. If it's me, the president, them, or whoever, if you don't receive Jesus Christ, amen, as your Lord and your Savior, you will not go to heaven. There is a place called hell. Amen to God. But God don't want nobody to go there. Amen. He wants people to be saved, born again, washed in the blood of Jesus. And it's said here that, that if they did not, you know, worship as far as this beast and this image, said even the same will drink of the wine of the wrath of God to come, which is poured out without mixture into a cup of indignation. You'll find this in Revelation 14 and 10. They shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So if you take the mark, you take it willingly. You said, what if somebody forces you to take that mark? I don't believe God's going to hold those people accountable. But if you take it willingly, the Bible said that you will end up, that, that is your ticket to the lake of fire. And the Bible said, and the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, that they have no rest day or night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receiveth the mark or his name. Folks, one day there's going to be a man that come on the same going to be very influential and the world's going to flock after him. We know him as the Antichrist. Now the Antichrist, I believe, is a spirit that takes hold of a man. Because we read last week or about two chapters over said, and that beast ascended up out of the bottomless pit and made war against the two witnesses and had them killed in the streets of Jerusalem. I believe it is the demonic spirit. And that's why I call, as far as the Antichrist, the demonic duo, the Antichrist and the false prophet. And they will work together. But when Jesus Christ comes back to give you hope, to give you something that you can cling to, one day Jesus is going to split the eastern clouds of glory. John said, I saw heaven open. He said, and I saw a white horse and him that sat on it. His name was called Faithful and True. Amen. And God had his vesture dipped in blood. Amen. And a name written King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And at that battle of Armageddon there in Revelation chapter 19, said, and they, he took... Amen. Christ, amen. The angels, us following Christ back with, amen, as the armies of heaven, amen. We took the beast and the false prophet, amen, the Antichrist, and they were cast, the Antichrist and the false prophet was cast alive into the lake of fire. Then the devil was bound a thousand years. He was released. Then finally he was cast in there with them. So folks, I believe we have hope today that we don't have to go through that time called the tribulation and the great tribulation. Now we can get ready. Amen. To, and how do you get ready is to know the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm closing. 
So, when we see these things, and they're coming, folks, no matter, no matter what, what we do, we just need to be prepared and ready for the rapture to take place. Because I believe that's one of the next things on God's prophetic plan. Amen. Is the rapture of the church. And I believe it could take place at any time. We need to be ready, watching and praying. Amen. For, amen, his return and his coming.